Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Roblox scheme client has stopped working. So it is gonna be a very easy one, so let's start our video. So for example, you encountered this specific issue on Roblox, the client game is not responding. So it's gonna be kinda annoying. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to log out from your account. So once you've done that, you want to click on here, just click on log out. So once you've done that, we could go to our first solution. So we have four solutions for you actually for this video. So uh, just follow these steps uh, closely and you should be good. So first thing is you want to close your browser. And from here, you want to go to your search bar here and just type in device manager. And from the device manager, you want to look for your graphics card. So your graphics card is usually under the display adapter settings here. And just right click on it and from here you want to click on update driver. So here just choose search automatically for drivers. And it's going to update or going to find the latest driver for your graphics card. So if it's already updated, has the latest version, it's going to say the drivers for your device is already installed. And you can just close this one. So if it's already updated and you're still uh, tr trying to fix the issue, it's not going away, then we have our second solution. So for our second method of actually fixing this issue, you want to locate your Roblox player. So if you have it on your desktop, you could just simply right click on it. But if you don't have it on your Roblox, you could just search here on your Windows search or for example, Roblox. And here I click on Roblox player and go to the open file location. And from here, you could just right click on Roblox player and go to properties. Once in the properties, you want to go to compatibility. Under compatibility, we want to enable a few settings for Roblox. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to enable the setting for run this program in compatibility mode four. And here just retain the Windows 8 option. Next is you want to enable the disable full screen optimization and you run this program as administrator options here. Once done, you can just hit on apply. So if you have this option enabled on your PC, you could just click on run compatibility trumpet shooter. It's really easy. You just need to follow the on-screen steps on actually fixing this issue, but it is not required. It is just an optional, optional thing for you actually to do. So once done, you could just click on OK and try restarting your PC and check if that solves your issue for Roblox. But if that doesn't solve your issue, we have our third solution, which is using the Clean MGR application. So here you want to press on your keyboard Windows R and from here just type in Clean MGR and just click on OK and from here click on OK. So here, what we want to do is you want to add a checkbox on all of these items here. So what we are actually going to do is we are actually going to clear our cache files. So these are temporary files that we want to clear. So just click on OK and just click on delete files. Let this load up. It might take up a few, a few minutes or a few seconds, depending on how many files you have on your PC. But if you have only a few files, it's going to be really easy. And from there, you just need to restart your PC and check if that solves your issue. If that doesn't solve your issue, we have our final way. So here, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up the Windows search again. So press on the Windows R combination there and just type in the following, which is percentage local app data percentage. And here, just choose this one. And from here, click on OK. So it's going to open up a folder for our installed files or applications on our PC. So here, you just want to hit on the R key on your keyboard. And from here, you will be needing to locate the Roblox folder. Just click on Roblox. And from here, you want to delete the global basic settings option there. Just right click on it and delete. And from here, you want to go to logs. And under logs, you want to highlight all of these ones and just right click on it and just click on delete. And from here, you just need to close this one and just restart your PC. And hopefully that solves your issue. And that's basically it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.